I want to introduce you to Karen Wright. We live in Wichita, Kansas. Raised by her mom, Karen never knew her biological dad or really anything about him. My mom and he were both teenagers when I was conceived. You know, back then everything was hush-hush. So I had tried to locate him before, but I didn't really know his whole name. She took a DNA test this year through MyHeritage. I got the results back on Easter Sunday. And found a cousin. She put me in contact with uh, some relatives and told me I had a sister that lived in Washington. I've known about her for a long time, just have never known where to find her. This is Karen's sister, Shannon Armbruster. Raised by their dad, Shannon only knew she had a half-sister out there. No name, until Karen's DNA test connected them. I just never would have dreamed this, but you know, I could do this. They've only ever talked online and by phone. I feel connected to my sister already, even though I've not met her. That all changed on Father's Day. I was in fear I was never going to find her, but God is good. Here I am. <laughs> 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 Karen found a sister and learned she had lost a dad. Our daddy, he was the best daddy mm -hmm. a girl could ask for. And he would have loved more than anything to have met you. He died of cancer in 96 and was buried here in Placerville where he spent his final days with family. A family, by the way, that just got a little bigger. And I know this is just making dad just dance. <laughs> He's probably up there going, yay! <laughs> and on a day that would have been his 82nd birthday. Yes, a day of celebration and a day of sorrow. Yeah, because I never got to meet him, but you know, I'm meeting him through her. So. <laughs> <laughs> My missing link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finally.